Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Hey, if you're new to my channel, my name is Ebony. So today's video, I'm gonna share with you my makeup and my makeup routine. I'm gonna show you the products I'm currently using, like my absolute favorites, and also applying them to my face and how I do things. Um, my skin is acne prone, so all of these products are all about, you know, not gonna cause me to break out, basically. Um, and yeah, these are very tried and tested and definitely some holy grails. Anyway, I'm gonna shut up and get into the video, so I really hope you guys enjoy it, and let's cut me with a better face. So the first product that I apply is my concealer and for me my whole like make not skincare routine my whole makeup routine relies on concealer which you'll see in this video. So the one that I am using at the minute is the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer. I've only just got this I've only been using it for about a week but before that I was using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. First off I don't like shape tape and that's a really unpopular opinion and um, so I actually got this because there was so much hype about it now if you are someone who likes a very very natural makeup look and um, you like things to look like your skin and just i know blend in light skin personally this is my own opinion i don't think shape tape is one for you i find that because it's so mattifying it's more obvious on the skin it doesn't blend as easily and i find that because it dries quite quickly i feel like it's quite harsh when i apply it to my eye like i feel like i'm like having to tug my eye a bit and i really hate that so i just find it's not like that easy to apply so i guess me and this aren't the best match um so instead i decided to try the bare minerals bare skin concealer and i am loving this concealer so basically it blends like a dream it just goes on really thin it's got a serum inside so it's kind of like a serum consistency but it's just so easy to work with and use um, and i just go over my nose blend that all in it's just to take it's just basically just to take the edge off and get rid of any kind of redness and then i take my ring finger and then that's when i go underneath my eyes if i'm going to be honest how i actually normally do it is i take both ring fingers and i kind of do them at the same time if i kind of go like this and go over the top make sure this is covered Yeah, that is my eye area done. It's just so easy to blend and use. And like when I even like look at it really, really close like this, it still looks like my skin, which I love. Like the other one, I also found it started to in, like emphasize things. So if I got it like too far here, the tape, this is the shape tape. If I got it too far here, I found like it started to emphasize your pores and it's just, oh, I just don't like the look of it. Whereas this one, yeah, it just looks like skin. So massive, massive plus for that. Okay, then I go into my bronzer. And another thing you'll learn about my makeup routine, I do everything in probably the complete wrong order but this is just the order i like to do it in anyway what i do first is actually clean my bronzer brush so this is just surgical spirit and i just spray that onto the tissue clean brushes are everything oh my god if you're not cleaning your brushes and you have acne start doing it and then i take my bronzer which actually is another bare minerals product but this is like the only two products i have by bare minerals so this is not like a bare minerals video just so happens the first two of them but this bronzer is their invisible bronze bronzer it's in medium and i love this bronzer like this if you have acne really, really recommend this bronzer it just doesn't emphasize anything it looks beautiful on the skin it just gives you that amazing just natural glow and it's so like it's, it's very buildable do you know what I mean it's easy to use you don't have to like worry about putting on too much and another thing i find i have to be very careful with ingredients of makeup like a lot of makeup ingredients make me like break out um i've got to be careful with like talc and like mica and stuff and this one like in terms of ingredients i quite liked it so yeah i think it's really good if you have like acne prone or problematic skin and something i like doing recently is i like to put actually a little bit on my nose just to kind of give it a little bit of sun kissed Oh, that was a little bit too much. Oh my god, I've never done that. That was a little bit too much, wasn't it? Let's just blend that in a little bit. Okay, next I go on to my eyes. I leave my like spot concealing basically to the very, very end. Um, so next I'm going to go on to my eyes. And I'm using the Soap and Glory Archery Brow Pencil in... I don't know what colour this is. Dark brown. Um, and I first off just brush through my eyebrows. I actually dyed my eyebrows the other day, so... A little bit less work than normal. Okay, and then onto eyeshadow. I've been using the NYX single eyeshadow in Dance the Tides. Um, I really like this. It's just kind of like a nice, kind of warm brown colour. And I just take a little bit of this. Oh gosh. And I just run this through the crease of my eyes. Kind of concentrating it more on the outer third as well. It's kind of what I do. 
I don't know. I'm not a beauty like guru person. If you're like really bad at doing your eye makeup, I really recommend this brush. It is so good. I've had this for years and it is just a dream. Like if you need to blend something or just make your eyes just look good, this will do it for you without you having to really do anything. It's the Bobbi Brown Eye Blender really good okay then i like to add something to my lid and i love this it's the kevin kwan what are these called the loose shimmer shadow in oh god how do you say that kunzite it's k-u-n-z-i-t-e anyway i like to take this it's kind of like a really pretty rose gold shade um you'll be careful because it can get a little bit messy okay then i like to add a little bit of eyeliner and i love this i've been using this i swear for like 10 years i don't know however long they've made it voice i've used this so this eyeliner is by collection which by the way do you guys remember when it was called i think it's like collection 2000 oh my God, what a throwback anyway by collection and it is the extreme 24 hour felt tip liner if you like liquid eyeliner but you find it really hard sometimes with like brush pots and that kind of stuff and you like a pen in my opinion this is like one of the best pens i absolutely love it it does not budge it does not smudge it stays on all day it is just so good and it's really really cheap so anyway my favorite I can't do this on camera though because that's just going to go horribly wrong. So I'm going to quickly put some eyeliner just on my eyelids. I literally just do it just a little thin line. That's it. Nothing fancy. And I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I've done my eyeliner. So now I put on my mascara. At the minute I'm using the Dior Show It Stays Mascara, which I really do love this mascara. But recently, I don't know why, like I've used it for years, but in the past like couple of like months i found it actually start to transfer I'm always going underneath my eyes which is super annoying so i'm not going to repurchase this one again but my ultimate favorite which i will be going back to because i've already ordered it is the ysl baby doll mascara this is like my all-time favorite mascara but i've just run out so anyway we're going to use the dual show it stays today it still is a good mascara like it works really well it's just a transfer thing which is a massive turn off. And I like to apply two coats. Okay, so mascara's on, and I also only put it on the top lashes because I just find it just looks a bit more natural and a bit more fresher and lighter on my face. If I put it on the bottom, it starts to look a little bit intense and just dark, and I don't really like it. So anyway, keep it on the top. And then just to finish off my eyes, I like to use my Smashbox. This is the Casey Holm palette in Pearl. Again, I don't wear this like on my cheekbones, but if you have acne, this is actually a really good highlighter for that because it doesn't actually emphasize texture. So really, really love it. But I actually don't use it on my cheekbones anymore. I just use this in my eyes. So I like to take the lightest shade, which you can, God, if you can see in this light, there you go. You can see I've seriously hit pan on. Anyway, I'll take a little bit of this and I just like to pop this on the inner corners of my eyes just to give them an extra little pop. Just makes you look so much more awake and then I take it underneath my brow as well. So now is when I start to actually cover up any marks or any spots or anything like that. And I like to use, I've used this for years, this hasn't changed, and this is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Concealer. It is just the one that's like the, you know, thicker stick one. I really, really like this. It just does a really good job at staying put. And the way I use it is with a detailer brush, and this is by Real Techniques. And this is like the key. If you have acne or spots or blemishes, it's like the key little tool. <laughs> because with a spot, I mean, it's 3D, so it really helps you to get around the spot and not just like on top of it. Whereas when you like use your finger, you kind of just get on top of the spot. You can't really blend it as well. So when you have a brush, you can really get into the nooks and crannies. Also really good for scarring as well to really kind of get into the scar. So anyway, gonna use this. I'll take a little bit of this onto my brush. And then I've also cleaned my hands again. I always make sure my fingers are clean before doing this part. And then I just go over any marks or anything that I have. So let's just start. The trick as well when doing this is not holding the mirror like too close to the face as well, because sometimes you just see things that not everyone else does. Um, so I like to kind of hold mine back and just kind of get more of an overview. And for me with my makeup, like I don't really strive for perfection. I just try to like just make everything look a little bit better basically. And then once I've done that, I just take my bronzer brush, whatever's left on it, and I just go back over the cheeks. Just to make sure everything's kind of blended, if there's any like concealer I've put there. Um, I just find that it just kind of, I don't know does something that's why i like to do it <laughs> and then the last step for me is my lips and again i've been using this lip liner for years this is the nyx lip liner in mauve i absolutely love this i find it's quite close to my lip color but it's slightly deeper so it really helps to kind of enhance my lips a little bit so anyway, i take this and just apply 
And then for my just like casual everyday lip colour, I use the Fenty Beauty Lip Gloss in Fussy. There we go guys, that is my everyday makeup routine and all the products that I currently like to use. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll also list all the products that I spoke about in the description box with it if you are like interested, if there's anything you want to kind of look at. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you come join the team, press that subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you want to start right now, pop another video if you want to go check out some more for me. But thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.